to let's speak to Ezzedullah Uzu, who joins me now, who's an expert uh, on Turkmenistan and that region. He's going to win this election quite comfortably, isn't he, because of the grip that the authorities have on power. Why is it even being held? Uh, because they want to give a democratic color to this um, election, to this um, administration. You know, uh, Turkmenistan, as you know, is a country which is uh, very often uh, compared with North Korea by the international observers and the human rights groups. But there is no free media, no, uh, I mean, uh, free um, uh, society and uh, the state the state controls tightly the people and there is no freedom of uh, movement or very much restricted by the state and there is no opposition parties uh, real opposition parties except the fake one created uh, by the uh, president himself by the government to give the idea that the uh, Turkmenistan is a, a multi-party uh, system or, or society uh, to give this image. And they are playing this democratic game, but they don't know how the uh, democracy really works uh, in, in, the, uh, in the outside world. And you, you mentioned North Korea, and as you say, Turkmenistan is a very close society. What do we know about it and its current problems? Uh, the problem is Turkmenistan is uh, in a very bad economic situation at the moment because uh, Turkmen economy, as you know, is uh, very much dependent on um, uh, export of natural gas and uh, we have a problem at the moment, uh, the fall of the price in Turkmenistan and uh, the Turkmen uh, economy is, uh, since it's uh, very dependent on gas uh, export, the uh, uh, the government doesn't have this fund to finance many things. For example, the government cannot uh, pay the salaries on time. There's a uh, shortage of foods um, uh, such as uh, cooking oil, sugar, medicine, others, uh, which is leading to uh, price hikes in the bazaars. And people are very disturbed by that. And uh, because in the past, the Turkmen government um, had a, a big income from the export of uh, gas and oil, but then uh, they spent this money, they wasted this money by building huge hotels and palaces uh, more than they need. And also they spent uh, too much um, uh, uh, income of the uh, government for a city, uh, tourist city called Awaza. They want to build like an Antalya, a tourist city, and they uh, both presidents, uh, the late Turkmenbashi and the uh, Berdim Khumadov both, uh, they spent too much money for that, and now it's, it's, uh, this is also a big failure. And uh, given these failings, are, are the public aware of the problems, and are they energised enough to actually do something about it and resist this regime? Yes, the people are aware of the problems. They, everybody uh, knows this, but uh, nobody dares to say anything. Uh, we don't witness um, uh, demonstrations like we had in Kazakhstan or in Kyrgyzstan and other Central Asian republics because Turkmenistan is the most closest uh, republic in Central Asia. Uh, that's why uh, the uh, international observers or experts compare it with uh, North Korea. And uh, the people, uh, because there were some attempts in the past years, uh, small demonstrations, but it was uh, cracked down by the uh, government and the people don't dare uh, to do anything against the government. And uh, this is uh, a funny situation because, uh, you know, even the president, everybody knows that this is, uh, there's no democracy, but despite that they are holding elections and we have fake uh, candidates, fake uh, opposition parties, and they are playing a game. Uh, it's a kind of show. As it other houses, thank you very much for joining us. Still ahead on the programme, celebrations in New Zealand as dozens of stranded...